freedom to choose to do or not. You can choose it. He's not coming and chasing me back. Go there, don't go there. So you have the brain to think what is good and what is bad, and you have the freedom to choose what you want to do. He has given you the freedom to decide. People sow bitter seeds and expect sweet fruits later. Ah, seed, bitter seeds, and expect sweeter fruits. Is it possible? No. If you do the bad things, and we let them in, we should be doing well, and doing good, being happy, being wealthy. How? Oh, it's possible? As a result, when they have to eat the bitter fruits, they argue and blame me for their suffering. Yeah. The feed me means he identifies himself with the God. So when they come, the bitter results come to us, we blame the God. Oh, why did he give it to us? Can we say that? Why? Who are responsible for our bitter things? Yes, sir. How? Yeah, it depends on our karma we did in this life or without our knowledge in previous life, it come back to us. So when we experience bad results, we can't blame God. Many people blame God, okay, when the bad results come. But, the, but we are the one responsible or we are the one creator uh, of our bad or good results. Students today waste a lot of money. They should realize... Students today waste lots of money. Do you agree or not? Yes. They should realize that their parents undergo a lot of hardship to earn money. They toil hard and sometimes even for, forego their food to save some money in order to send it to you. Yeah, so students uh, waste their money. You should know your parents are working hard to earn their money. Sometimes they even respect their own food and own necessary items to save money for your education your food and your clothing and your facilities and for your future. There may be some parents who are well-to-do. I am not talking about them. But parents who are not so well-to-do struggle hard to keep you happy and comfortable. So consider each paisa that you receive from your parents each like... Each paisa means each cent. That you receive from your parents like a drop of their blood. Never yeah. always each cent the parents spend on you it's a drop of their blood. Remember that. Never waste money. If you waste money, it amounts to wasting the blood of your parents. Yeah, if you waste money, it equals to the wasting the blood of your parents. When people have to undergo suffering as a result of their bad actions, they blame God. How can you blame God when God has given you the independence to choose what is good and what is bad? Yeah, same thing. But he said another thing. When you exercise when you exercise your freedom of choice, you should use your discrimination to decide what is good and what is bad. Yeah, sense of discrimination is a specialized sense in humans. Animals also have this choice, but limited. So we humans have the thinking ability and sense of discrimination to choose between good and bad. So we need to utilize it. What do you mean animals also have this choice? Yeah, sorry, I mentioned wrong again about animals. We'll come back to it. Animals also uh, have the choice. They choose their places and other things. Uh, they react, they think. They have emotional distress too. There was a doctor presenting laughing about the emotional trauma of the home uh, back people, uh, back home. And he uh, mentioned that uh, animals react in the same way. Uh, subject to stressful situation continuously, animals become sort of a silent and uh, non non-reacting uh, module, they have to go into that phase. So humans also can't like that. So animal has mind, but our mind is very specialized, very evolved. That's why we made all these changes, education and other things. Animals doesn't run schools. Do they run schools? Sunday classes? Do they talk about spirituality? Do they have TV, computers, schools? No, so we do that. When a man emerges from a womb of his mother, one does not find any garland around his neck. There are no jewels made of pearls, nor there are glittering gold ornaments. There are no necklaces studded with precious stones like emeralds and diamonds. 
But there is only one garden of garland around his land. Brahma strings together the consequences of his past, leads into a happy garden, and puts it around his neck at the time of his birth. Yeah, you understand that? God does not... What did he, what did he say? Oh, like we're not born with all the ornaments. We are the father. Yeah, when we were born, we weren't born with any necklace, ornaments, or mala, or ball chain, emeralds, nothing. But there was a, what do you call it, a chain put by Brahma and invisible. That is the chain of our karma we did our past. Okay, so we all born with that chain. That's invisible, what we did in our past. Good and bad. Can you read the sentence to me? They can understand. Brahma strings together the consequences of his past deeds into a heavy garland and puts it around his neck at the time of birth. God does not interfere in your freedom, whether you do God does not interfere in your freedom. Do you agree or not? Yes. Whether you do good or bad, but you cannot ex escape the consequences of your actions. You cannot escape the consequences of your actions. This is a law stipulated by God. Only those who understand the truth and act according or accordingly can drive the happiness in life. Yeah, this is the law of the God. This is the cosmic law. Yeah, okay, so if we understand that law only, we can make ourselves happy in this world and next world. We don't blame others for our unhappiness. We don't blame God for our suffering. We, when we come to understand, we are responsible for our suffering. We are responsible for our unhappiness. Because our past deeds we did bad and good, garland they took us at the time of birth by Brahma, and we are already tied with that chain that respects us, our, what do you call, whatever enjoyment or happiness or suffering we have. Even before performing a small action, man should keep in mind moral, spiritual, and ethical values and use his power of discrimination to decide whether to perform the action or not. Yeah, every simple thing, think twice before you do. Think twice before you do. I learned one of the things when I was young, like you. Uh, I have a friend, my man class. Uh, so uh, when he, um, they have, uh, what do you call it? Uh, unlike me, they have a, what, what are more resources, they can provide anything. So if he asks something, some of a nice shirt, or some nice clothes, or nice shoes he want to uh, uh, buy, when he go to his father, when he asks something, the father said, okay, he will think about it. He will think about it. Then he will. He has to wait for a certain time. Sometimes two weeks or a month or anything. Do that. To do that, he will. Do, uh, he has to earn by doing some good thing and demonstrating, uh, demonstrating his what he calls. He being good uh, on time, doing some good things and everything. And also, the father checks that he still want that item. Sometimes we want something after two weeks or one month. We don't want it anymore. Don't you feel like that? You want it for a toy and I want to buy it today. If I have money and freedom, I'll buy it. But if you don't have it, I'll just it. Then after one month, if you have the money, we don't buy the same toy. Because we are no longer interested. This comes and goes. So, from that lesson, I learned when I want to buy something, I, I say in Cuba. I just kept that there even now. If I buy something, a cell phone, even a computer, or a clock or something like that. I actually keep it idea and I keep it. Do I really need it? Okay? I have the money but I don't buy it. Then after two weeks or one month, if I feel I still need it and it's worth it, then they compare the value for the price, then only I buy it. I learned it as a student like your age or even say, uh, when I was in high school with my high school friend father, uh, seeing the internet. So the three percent again. Even before performing a small action, man should keep in mind moral, spiritual, and ethical values and use his power of discrimination to decide whether to perform that action or not. Perform meritorious deeds. Yeah. Meritorious deeds. Yeah. Meritorious deeds means the good things, the great things. Okay. Once they lived a wealthy man yeah. with his old parents, 
in this morning. Well, it's a story. He's talking about once. Once there lived a wealthy man with his old parents. In this modern age, people do not treat their parents with due respect. Some of them. Yeah, in this modern age, people do not treat their parents with due respect. Some of them think it is proper to send them to an old age home where they grow grow old. Yeah, some of them think in modern age that it is proper to send their parents to the old age home. And even some of my friends and uh, other people are talking them. I send my father. He's a nice home doctor. He's there with the family. If I put them there, he will talk about that too. Is it good or right? Thing? This wealthy man and his wife also thought they also thought in the same manner. They constructed a small room in the veranda and asked their parents to stay there. Yeah, as they, they constructed a small room in their veranda and asked their parents to stay. There. Some of us, uh, what do you call? Ask the parents to live in the basement or a small room like that. They did that. As they considered it a, a big botheration to accommodate them inside their house. In due course of yeah, time, they considered the big botheration or is bothering thing to accommodate or have the appearance in their own home. In due course of time, a son was born to the wealthy man. Yeah. This boy used to be with his grandparents right from morning till night, listening to moral stories and sacred teaching. The wealthy man tried to prevent his son from going to his parents, to his grandparents, because he thought. What will happen to my son if he always listen to the moral stories from his grandparents? Mm -hmm. So these parents, uh, what do you call, they didn't want the kid going to their grandparents and uh, listening to the moral stories. Every day he, pro he provided food in an unearthed, unearthed plate to his parents without bothering to inquire about their well-being. All this was yeah, being observed. Yeah, put the food for the, provide the food in an earthen plate, uh, as you say, clay pot. And he doesn't ask him, just send the food. Uh, he doesn't go and ask him, how are you feeling? How are you, Dad? How are you, Mom? Are you okay? What do you need for today? What do you like? They, he doesn't consider anything. All this was being observed by the tender hearted boy. He thought to himself, whose property is this in which my parents are living and enjoying all comforts and confidences. It's only the property of my grandparents. It is only due to my grandparents that my parents have a name in society. How unjust it is that they are ill-treating my grandparents in spite of enjoying all their property. So ill-treating the grandparents, what it is, uh, what, what it is called today? Elder abuse. Have you heard of the word elder abuse? Yeah. In order to teach a lesson to his parents, the small boy one day took away the earthen tray and hid it and hid it somewhere. Next day, his parents were searching for the earthen plate in order to serve food to the old parents. Mother and father, what are you searching for? Asked the boy. We are unable to trace the earthen plate in which we serve food to your grandparents. They replied. Picking up courage, the boy said, You don't need to search for it. My, I myself have hidden it somewhere. Then the father of the boy asked him angry, Why have you done this? The boy replied, I have done this so that I can serve food to you in the same place when you go when you grow old. You got that? The way you treat your parents, that your kids will treat you. Some of us, uh, we don't uh, realize that. So setting an example, one thing, role model to teach that, that's a different way. And also you are learning a bad karma, so you have to pay back. Okay? See for yourself, the result of a bad action, you'll be treated by your children in the same manner as you treat your parents right now. If you deceive your friend, you will also be deceived. If you respect your brothers, they will also respect you. Yak bhavam tak bhavati. Of, are also the feeling, so is the result. You cannot stop the consequences of your actions. God has given this beautiful world and given man all the freedom to enjoy his creation. He has endowed him with all types of powers. 